Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. Former NBA point guard suggests the OKC Thunders could take the baton from the Lakers as a new team to beat in the West. That ain't too far fetched. I mean, the Lakers are getting older. LeBron is almost 40. They have AD and they have a pretty young group, but LeBron is the engine of the whole operation. And these young teams, they're not afraid of the Lakers. They're not. These up and coming young teams, they are not afraid of the Lakers. No one is afraid of LeBron. And it's not a far fetched statement. It's possible. Sacramento Kings, they're coming. The Thunders are coming. And all these younger teams, they're coming. According to basketball legend, NBA legend Reggie Miller, the Lakers are a tear behind the favorites in Denver, Phoenix, and Sacramento. I don't know about Sacramento, they're great, but. As far as Denver and Phoenix, they are a tear behind. Despite a lot of people feeling like the Lakers will be in the finals again, the two teams that are clearly better than the Lakers and to proven otherwise are Phoenix and Denver. They are just a tad crack above the Lakers and I can't foresee the Lakers beating Denver, so I would agree with Reggie Miller. And Sacramento, they're coming. The reason why Sacramento you know, got knocked out the playoff was simple. Inexperienced. They're young. They've never really been there before. And you're playing a team in Golden State who are champions. You know, they got a championship pedigree. They're very experienced. So in the end, Sacramento fell to the more experienced championship team. But they are no slouch. They're coming. De'Aaron Fox, he's coming. Sabonis, they're coming. I don't know if Sacramento are a tear above the Lakers. I don't know. If anything, I would put them on the same tear. I wouldn't say they're a tear above, but according to Reggie Miller, Sacramento is slightly better than the Lakers. And I don't foresee the Lakers making it to the finals again. I just don't see it. Even though they're optimistic, you know, they have hope. Rob Palenka made a lot of moves. They brought in a lot of players, you know. They're stacked up. They brought in Wood. Torian Prince, and a lot of other players. They revamped their roster. They're pretty stacked up, but Denver is still the favorite, and Phoenix is right behind Denver. They even got better. They got a third superstar. So according to Reggie Miller, OKC Thunders, who failed to qualify for the play-in last season, will be in the top four teams, while the Lakers are predicted to be somewhat in the middle with the Clippers, Warriors, Pelicans, Grizzlies, etc., That's a real bold statement from Reggie Miller, but you know what? Maybe he sees something or maybe he knows something. I don't. I mean, he played the game at a very high level, so he could be right. Will the OKC Thunders be better than the Lakers this season? We're going to find out. But it's not too far-fetched now. So Reggie Miller believes Tier 1 will be the Nuggets, the Suns, the Kings, and the Thunders. Tier 2 will be the Pelicans, Grizzlies, Clippers, Lakers, and Warriors. We can't for sure say if he's right about this. We'll find out. We'll see. But it is a real interesting take. And I do agree as far as Denver and Phoenix. They're a tear above the Lakers. As far as Sacramento, mm, they're about on the same level, give or take. They're younger. They're a team that like to run and gun. Sacramento is like the unpolished Warriors team. They have, this, they have similar play style. Mike Brown came from the Warriors system, so it made sense why Sacramento have a similar play style. This year's NBA is going to be very interesting. And I can't wait to see what are the end results and where the Lakers fall in this whole pyramid. Because everybody has the Lakers as a top seed, which they are, but I don't think they're going to make another Western Conference Finals. There's a possibility, but like I said, the Phoenix Suns, they're here. The Suns are here. Denver, you know, they're here. I'm sure the Warriors will be a little better, but they haven't made much adjustment or much upgrade. So the Warriors are the Warriors. The talent pool in the West is insane. Same as the East, but the West is really stacked up talent-wise. From top to bottom, from the worst team to the best teams, they're stacked and it's going to be crazy this season. It's going to be crazy. And knock on wood, Anthony Davis could stay healthy. LeBron could stay healthy because. If AD goes down, it's over. It's that simple. If AD goes down, put a fork in it. They could make the playoff possibly, but it's over. So 
So everything is riding on AD's success. Can Anthony Davis stay healthy? And that's the question. Will Denver make it back to another finals? It's a high possibility. Will the Phoenix Suns make it to a finals? Another high possibility. Will the Lakers make it to a finals? Mm, it's a 50-50. Maybe. As far as Sacramento is concerned, they're here. The only issue last season was inexperience. They got some playoff games under their belt. Almost a whole series, basically. And as far as OKC Thunders, it's going to take some time for them to get their foot in. Yeah, you know, it could take some time for the team and for things to come together. They're a young team. You know, still finding their way. So is Sacramento, but Sacramento has a little more experience. And they've been there. They tasted the playoff. They almost advanced, almost, but, you know. So this year in the West is going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy in the East, but the West, man, because of Phoenix, Denver, Lakers, Sacramento, Warriors, the West this year is going to be insane. And I want to see all the hype around the Lakers. You know, all these sports media, everybody's choosing the Lakers to make it back to the Western Conference Finals. And truthfully, I think it's a 50-50. They might make it. They might not make it. It's not a definite on my end. I don't think I'm leaning more toward the Lakers possibly getting knocked out in the second or first round. I don't see him making the Western Conference Finals again with the emergence of Phoenix as far as them getting Bradley Beal. And Denver now has the experience. After beating the Lakers, they have the experience now. So it's going to be even more tougher for LeBron to make it to another Finals to possibly win another championship. That's going to be tough. So I would agree with Reggie Miller in certain aspects. So we're going to see what happened this season in the 2023-2024 NBA season. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.